Hello everyone. Today we have with us uh, Dr. Ajay Nanda Kishore from Madras Medical College, who secured All India Rank 1700 in the recently conducted NEET PG 2024. First of all, hearty congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank Great. you so much. Thank you so much. So, hearty congratulations to you, your parents, yeah. and family members. And uh, so, when you saw the result last night, like what was your first reaction? Yeah, actually, what happened was like a friend informed me of the result. So I opened my phone. I downloaded the PDF, and I kind of remembered my admission ID. And I saw that, and I saw my rank seventeen hundred. And then, like actually, I immediately went blank, and like I didn't tell anyone. I went back. I I I took out my hall ticket again, and I reconfirmed my admit. I, okay, this is only my admit ID. And then I went back. Okay, this is my rank. Then like silence. I silently called my mom, and like I said, Ma, uh, this is this is the result. I got the result. Okay. And she also didn't understand what seventeen hundred was. And, Honestly, I didn't understand what seventeen hundred was. I was like blank for a minute, and then okay, then slowly it started settling. And okay, it's a good rank. You got a good rank. And like I saw the percentile, and like okay, you got ninety nine point two percentile. It's a good rank. And like then it slowly started settling in, and that's a really good feeling. I mean, fantastic, Ajay. So it slowly starts sinking in, and like you're enjoying the moments, and uh, so. For your batch, it's not so easy. Like going through all these repeated postponements, cancellations, yes. preponements, and it's uh, so with all this journey. Um, how did you go through this? Can you describe your journey in short? Oh uh, yeah, uh, it's been almost like one year, one year and six months. I think one year and six or seven months. Correct. So yeah, uh, initial six months were classes. So we used to come to the class and like we listen to the class and we did go back to home. And when we when when we go back home, then we started reading whatever happened in the class. And then okay, when the classes were over, uh, during the classes, the first insert came, and that insert my performance was like okay, uh, like uh, only after the weeks are over, and it was like okay, that gave me a bit of confidence actually. And then this postponement preponement thing started, and it really affected me a lot, uh, because like uh, I was paying rent in Chennai and like. Uh, once this final postponement happened, it was like, what is the point of paying the rent? No, uh, okay, let's move home. And like, I came home, and like, I'm a person who was who's like never used to reading at home. Uh, from school, I was in hostel, so like, my home was my comfort place, and I was now not able to read at home also. Then I called up my friend. I moved to my friend's place, and last one month, to be honest, I wasn't able to prepare well because like, was like June twenty third, I was completely prepared. I was like. I was all in for the exam. Like, okay, everything is fine. We can do the exam. I finished all the revision by the last day. Fine. Then when they postponed night eleven o'clock, I was like, I was honestly lost. I didn't know who who to run to because like everyone was in a very bad situation. And then okay, I came home and I took rest for a week or so. Then I moved back to my friend's place and then I started reading. Uh, to be honest, like my preparation wasn't like. As good enough wh- wh- when June twenty third was there, the last month preparation compared to that, it was like not compared, not comparable to past. Like I was like to the point, is it really normal? Can I do it? Like I lost it. Then okay, then when the last week came, I started really sitting down. Ah, uh, within within four days, I was to come. I was able to complete the last revision. So yeah, it was a very hard journey. But then like yeah, there were people with who were there. My mom and dad came moved to Chennai for me. And my my mom and dad stayed with my friends. They cooked for them. Yeah, so it was a very I mean like I couldn't expect anything more from them. And then like yeah, I moved to my friends' place. Then my friends' parents were there. They supported me a lot. Like there's so much support behind the system. And then even ADR places. Oh my god, uh, the workbook, the workbook system, the morning leader board sessions really helped me because like most of the subjects I followed ADR, the ADR uh, workbooks. Like that, uh, that being the base of my preparation, getting a seventeen hundred rank is like phenomenal. That's nice, and uh, good that you have a very strong support system in terms of family and friends. And yeah, yes. In area plexus, what are the things? Yeah, you you are in fact fortunate for that, like Ajit. And in area plexus, what are the things which you like the most, and like what are the various things which helped in your preparation? Uh, ADR plexus, the the cornerstone for my preparation is ADR plexus, uh, because like I'm not a person who who's used to taking notes from scratch from the note. I cannot write, plus like my handwriting is also equally bad. 
so when the workbook system came like uh, when i finished my senior year like the the obvious choice was idea the idea plexus and my seniors also like told me idea is very good so yeah uh, my first class was surgery i remember uh, by rohan sir and like when i honor when i came inside it was very fast like 12 hours class we were never used to it so the first day i came in like rohan sir was telling very fast i was able to catch up things then like as things settled uh, mr sankar helped me a lot he used to motivate me a lot then like as the speed settled then i started preparing on the daily basis and then like i i used to make it a point to wake up in the morning and solve the leaderboard no matter what rank i get in the leaderboard it didn't matter i wanted to make it a point i have to get up in the morning do leaderboard because like once the system settled in i understood that solving questions is the only thing you will be able to crack this thing so like okay so what are you, even if even if i were able to complete the portion or not it didn't matter morning i used to get up solve the leaderboard solve very very specific questions then used to come to the class yeah uh, in class my attentiveness was okay i used to sleep here and there but then like on the whole it was really good uh, but then yeah most of the subjects uh, except medicine and biochemistry uh, and i followed adr so yeah uh, this adr the thing about adr the workbook and the uh, support system they have like whatever problems you have you can always voice out to them a uh, bit as very small problem from ac being very cool or being a problem where like you feel very demotivated you feel very down like people are always they always there behind your back people in the fraternity who are, who are always there to support you so that uh, that being the basement and apart from all the struggles adr of adr are always stood to the end so yeah that's really good to know and like we are happy that we have played a key role in your success ajay and uh, you feel about as you mentioned about the workbook and later boards and like how do you feel about the vsc and the mock examinations which we conducted yeah uh, vsc is actually a very good strategy uh, i follow i followed the vsc sessions uh, the thing is like when when you do, when you don't have time to revise a subject a lot like for example when you have only like some hours so one day you have to revise three four subject then you can't open your workbook and read all to i in those times vsc were a very good advantage because like you just brush through the whole of the subjects in the last two three days just to give you an overview of the most important topics of the complete 19 subjects because like uh, given the large subjects uh, like medicine or surgery it's virtually impossible to revise them even in a day it takes at least one and a half days to revise surgery or meds so when at the last when you are afraid that okay you don't remember surgery i mean like it was always a backup tool you take your vsc book and you look through it and like uh, that is that is the main point of vsc isn't it like uh, that to for to help to help you to the revision at the end so that that is the point of vsc yeah mock examination i i my gts uh, i actually see my improvement in, uh, in my gts uh, when i started solving gts like my initial ranks were around like 60000 70000 only but at the end at the end i was able to secure a good rank in gts and like yeah uh, gts and questions rather than reading all throughout the day is for me the most important thing in getting the rank, getting good ranks or yeah so when you mentioning about the uh, the mcqs on an average how many number of mcqs used to attempt every day ajay yes uh, i at the starting i started with uh, 40 to 50 mcqs per day uh, on at the and at the beginning i used to, i used to solve mcqs of the subject i read uh, once my first revision was over uh, i also i also solved separate mcqs from the subject i read that day but then, like there is one standard 100 mcq custom module i i solved which included all subjects i which included pyq which included all the other tags like these 100 mcqs are standard every day that included all subjects even though i read them or not i revised them or not, that doesn't matter that didn't matter these 100 mcqs were a concern apart from these 100 mcqs i used to solve uh, 30 to 40 mcqs from the subject i read that day so around 140 to 150 mcqs per day so this is one of the key reasons for your success basically you got the hang of like uh, getting the questions fantastic and uh, how many times you have revised and like what is your revision strategy uh once my first read was over that was like one i i my first read was over when the classes are over itself because like i used to read when the class are over so that time itself i used to it so my first revision took a lot of time my first revision alone took, took around 3 months or around 3 and 1/2 months 
So my first question, I kept it a point that I have to add extra points or like prerequisites which I missed or the points which I missed in class. So my first question I followed, like I added all the points in the same book. So my my strategy was at the end, I should have one book for one subject. So I should not keep referring or a second revision, but during second revision or third revision, I should not keep referring to other books. So first question, I took my time, I added all the points in my workbook. Uh, then for the first revision took three and a half months. Then second revision, I actually half my time. Second revision, I finished in one and a half months. After second revision, then this postponement, pre-postponement started. Uh, after second revision, before June 23, I was able to complete two revisions. Uh, one revision in 20 days and another revision in 10 days. Like I, I, my, I, I'll be satisfied when I, when I'll be, when I'll be able to complete all the 90 subjects in the last week. So before on the last week, of, my week of subject is anatomy. So I keep anatomy at the last day. So before exam, I read anatomy and book. And before that, one week, I try to complete all the subjects. Uh, using VSC or using some other revision tool, I finished all subjects. Then after June 23, yeah, I wanted to do at least three revisions because like it was almost one and a half months time. Right? But then like I was able to complete two revisions, one revision in 20 days and the last revision in seven or six days. So yeah, technically when you see on the whole, it's like four or five revisions. Or it is an understatement. I don't I don't even keep count. <laughs> yeah, no, that's absolutely depends. So as I keep saying that revision and learning from the mistakes what you have made and like by doing more and more MCQs are the key factors. Yes, and, exactly. Okay, there might be many factors which contributed for your success. Like if I ask you to pick the top three of them, which one you pick up? Uh, the first, the first and foremost is my parents. Like the sacrifice they made for my success is phenomenal. Because like they, they, my mom and my dad moved to Chennai. Not only for me, uh, me and my four friends, me and three other friends stayed in a home. And like they came home, they stayed throughout my preparation. They supported not only me, they supported all my friends. They didn't, they didn't have the need to do that. So my parents being there all the time is the primary reason for success. Uh, my second reason is I had, I had really good friends. Like I was down at a lot of times. Like I was very down. I was like very demotivated when my GT scores were low. Like I used to score really good in some GTs and like some GTs will come very down. So those things, my friends were always there. Always there. So I used to talk to my friends. They used to motivate me. And finally, yeah, as in as in I'm saying, saying, saying from the beginning, without ADR plexus, uh, there is no basement of my preparation. Like uh, I made a I made a built a building, but then like the basement is always ADR plexus. Like without the workbooks or without the classes I attended, without the faculty, without the top faculties I attended classes with, it would not be it is not made possible to start the preparation. Okay, after I put my basement, I saw my questions, I revised that, that is the effort I made. But then like for the basement, for the scholars I have, that is zero effort of mine. That is like, I just used to come to sit in the class. Even like, even passive listening makes a difference. Like I was, we, even when I'm not attending, like when the passive listening is there, when I, when I go home and read, that's, that made me really easy. So yeah, these are the three things uh, which I could say. Which mounted to this. That's so nice of you. That's so nice of you being very humble and like uh, acknowledging it. Like that means a lot for us, Ajay. And so you mentioned two things: we have parents and second area plexus. And the third thing, if I ask you to pick it up. Yeah. Uh, third thing. They say. Uh, uh, nothing is coming to my mind. That's fair. So now if I ask you to give uh, a piece of advice to your juniors or uh, your colleagues, like uh, what one you do, what you want to give for them? Uh, my advice would be like, yeah, yeah like all it's, how, may, how much ever it is necessary to read this much hours a day, it's also necessary that you should not burn out. Like once you read, you read for 15 hours a day and the next day you feel burnt out, you waste two, next two, three days. And like that won't serve the purpose. Like always take necessary breaks. Like uh, before, even even like for uh, two three months before the exam, feel very down. Take one day break. Take two day. It's always it's always needed for a consistent preparation. Like rather than working so much in a single day and then like uh, taking a burnout, uh, leaving the next two three days doesn't uh, doesn't serve the purpose. Uh, what what I felt was 
like rather than sitting uh, long periods in a day take adequate breaks like if you if you read for 2 hours it's always okay to take an half an hour break then you sit again if you feel like you are saturated always it's okay you can you can do anything you can do something for the you can listen to music or you can watch an episode you can do this for an half an hour the thing is like you should not get distracted like not to the point you are distracted but then like it's necessary to take breaks and like as important as your reading my the next advice would be to solve questions solve questions solve questions solve questions that had made a phenomenal difference in my vt ranks uh, uh, once like your uh, how hard is it like the amount of questions you solve and the amount of time you take to review the thing significantly makes a difference like for example there are certain subjects i didn't even feel the need to go back to the workbook like i solved 100 or 200 questions in a subject and like reviewing 200 questions of the subject made me complete so like and like uh, one more thing also is solving questions and reading is completely different uh, i uh, you might you are like you might have read the topic completely and like even then we 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 should be we'd be able to solve only 50% of the questions so like that that bridging the gap between reading and solving questions so it's about like having the knowledge and applying that knowledge in a right way exactly really exactly like exactly exactly so that's so nice of you and also like learning from mistakes like doing revisions and when you mentioned about like uh, if you do more number of questions you learn from the mistakes like how you can analyze them and go through that and uh, this is a beautiful piece of advice you had given to your juniors and once again hearty congratulations to you your parents and all the family members ajay thank, thank you sir thank you for being with us no, our pleasure it is and uh, yeah. enjoy the moments and uh, see you you soon uh, in person along with your parents in the success meet and also like uh, yeah. wish you your md general medicine seat like which you are aspiring for like since india all the very best once again ajay thank you thank you sir and thank you thank you